Hey, we're back for another one of our one-page site tutorials, and I quite like this one, okay? We have an image over here, and we have a logo, and we have a menu here. By the way, it's not a sticky menu, but it, it just kind of sits below the image, mainly because I want, because the person of interest in it is kind of looking up. I didn't want to distract it by having like a menu or a logo up there. I wanted that image to just breathe a little bit, but I'm going to talk to you about this little gradient effect I've got over here, and you might like what I've done here, or I like to think you're going to like it. It's very simple style. We've got some text, we've got image, we've got text on the image, we've got a call to action button there. Again, we're almost replicating the image feel, and then we've got a couple of icon boxes. We've got a bit of a break in color with a subscribe. Again, a couple of images, text again, and we have a footer. It is a very, very simple looking website, but the colors, the background colors, and the simplicity in it can work really, really well as a portfolio or just launching a new product or anything like that. Let me now show you how this was created. And it is so simple, it's like crazy, right? We have a container. That container basically contains practically nothing, okay? It's just a full width. It's a 70 VH height, okay? It's just, it says box, but it's actually a full width, okay? Because there's no box width value in there. This has in here nothing but a background image. That's literally it, background image. Then we go down to uh, the background overlay. Again, there is nothing there because I mentioned the gradient here. So I don't want you to think I added it on the very first container. Uh -uh. Now let's go to the second container. Look at the height of that second container. Can you see it? So if we go over here, it's got a VH of 13. I had to play around with that a bit. First I went for 10, then I went for 15, and then in the end I settled down onto 13. This has a row. The reason why it's a row, and I'm just going to pull this up a little bit so you can see it here, just at the top there. The reason why it's a row is because we have a header over here, and we've got a text editor that I'm using as a fake menu that I've just created there. Right? It's a fake menu. Get over it, all right? And by going for a, let me put it back over here, by going for a space between, it spaces them nice and equally in that container, and it is a 1,000 pixel width as well. So 13 VH, 1,000 pixel width. Why did I make it 13 VH? Because if I hadn't done that, look at the height of it. That's all it is needs to be. But I've made it be 13, and here's why. If we go to the style of this, and we go down here to the background, okay, I've got a transparent color, and I've got this purpley color, which is the same background color that I've used over here. By the way, I used Canva to get what the hex code was here, so I got that nice blend effect going on there. Because it looks like it just transitions in, doesn't it, really nicely. I've set it to be 0 and 85, and the angle I've also set. So what we get is a bit of a blend going on here. Look, let me just show you what would have happened if I had done something like this. In fact, let's just type 85. Can you see that hard border? Uh, it's not working now because I've put the wrong value in. No, let me let me let me put this to fifty, right? There you go. Can you see the hard gradient now? Let me just pop that back to zero and eighty-five, so we get a bit of a blend going on. Then I'm going to advanced, and I have set this container to be minus one o three. Let's just pop it to zero. There's the container below the hero container, and we've got a blended effect, and it looks pretty goddamn awful. But if we now pop that back to minus 103, it's lifted it up. We've also ensured that this container has a Z index of two, and the hero banner has a Z index of, in fact, I didn't need it, but I could just put a one in if I wanna be sure. So container two is now in front of container one, which it would have been anyway. But we have an overlap effect. And if I was to just go back over here, look at the hand over here, right? If I go back to the style of this and I now just do this, for instance, can you now see what you get? That is the actual image, how it looks. I put the gradient on, we get a gradient effect, and it just blends. It helps to blend and remove that hard line we got there. Because you get that a lot, don't you, With um, when you do hero banners, you get a hard boom, full stop. Can you see it? We get this hard full stop. There's a bit of a line there, but ignore that. If we now do that, look at that, it just blends nicer. So it's another way of how you can do a bit of a blending effect. Okay, now let's go down to our container over here. This one is a thousand width as well. Everything is in a row. Why is it in a row? Because we've got a container here that contains, well, we've got a child container inside. 
That contains a header, text, and a button with some coloring on. And we have another container. By having two child containers and going for row, they sit side by side. If we had gone for column, they would have sat below one another. So the row allows it to sit side by side. And this container just contains a image and a bit of text. You can see it over here. If I just expand on it, okay, there we go. So we have this child container, which has heading, heading, and button. That's a heading, not a text editor. I was a bit lazy, you know, let it go. And this container just has a background image. It's got a box shadow as well, and it has a heading in there. Now, the heading you will notice is on the right-hand side. So let me just go back to this child container. We have some style applied here with a box shadow that you can see. Uh, also, if we go to the layout, you can see that it's set to be on the end. If I go like that, can you see where the words are now? If I go with center, if I go with end. You will notice though, it's not bang on center. It's kind of a bit more over to the left. Well, that's because if you go to the advanced, you can see I've got some padding applied to the top, the bottom and the right. If we didn't have that, it would have been all the way across and it starts to adjust the size of the images and the other container as well. Um, if you are ever worried though about how the two containers are going to look side by side. Another tip also is to make sure you've got stretch because if I go and do start, did you notice down there it shifted a little bit? When I do stretch, can you see it grew a tiny bit? So it's now level with the height of that container. So please bear that in mind, okay? So your parent container, make sure you've got stretch. It might be stretch width or stretch height and you'll work it out. Um, it has got a fair about, you know, 120 padding at the top and bottom. I just wanted it to breathe because I felt like the purple color was very prominent in that image. And I felt we might as well replicate that with the layout as well. This container down here, well, now this is just a copy of what we had above. We just flip the containers. We have an image over here with no text inside. This container is still got the stretch effect over there and it is a thousand width. This container, Okay, we've gone a step further, now contains text. Sorry, I think that's still a heading. Yeah, it's got heading text in there. And also into there, we went and dropped two, there they are, icon boxes. Because we get the icon, we get the text, we get, sorry, the title and description. And then all I've done is basically modify the width of them. So this is a 43%. And the width of this one is also 43% with a little bit of a minus 20 and my 20 there. I wanted it to kind of sit in a certain place because, because they're only 43%. If I went with more space between, the gap in between was bigger than I really needed it to be. Um, and if I went with space evenly, it just didn't look right. So what I've done is I've made them 43%. And then I've said, just shift them a bit. Look, if I was to take these values out, you, you can see, well, I, actually, I've just realized I'm covering it, aren't I? I always do this and I always make this mistake. Sorry, let me just move it over here. You can see there it's now, it, it's it's got a 20 and a minus 20. Then if I do this like that, can you now see that the gap there you might look at it and go, well, it's equal. Why not go for it? I actually preferred it not to be equal. I preferred it to be smaller just because I felt it aesthetically looked better. Pretty, pretty simple, right? Container with image and then another container. By the way, these are child containers, text or heading, and then two icon boxes dropped in. By the way, this child container is set to be a row. Um, it is set to start everything to sit at the start it's set to be a space between and it is also set to wrap if we take off the wrap this happens because it's set in a row everything sits side by side but i don't want this to sit side by side but i do want the icon boxes to sit side by side so you hit wrap and as long as this is a hundred percent okay going all the way across it now pushes these two over and because this is 43 percent and this is 43 both of them add up to 86. Well, that's well under 100%. So now they sit side by side. If this was 60 and this was 50, this would go underneath over here because they are greater than 100%. Um, again, pretty simple. And then down here, I've just made again a duplicate. Once you get it right and you've made it look good on the desktop, tablet, mobile, we just duplicate it. We have a container with image and text. I then duplicated that to then have another version, but this time just with some text. And then over here we have a container, which is basically like a copy of what you had over here. 
But this time you have a heading, heading, we added in a form for subscribe, you know, do whatever you want there. And we dropped in some social sharing icons um, and then we colored them accordingly. And then we have another container. Everything, by the way, is a thousand pixels in width. And then we just created this, you know, fake kind of whatever you want to call it, um, footer. One thing you want to bear in mind, though, with footers is that the estate for this, if I just show you, okay, does go from here to about there. The trouble is, though, that when you do create footers, you often get this like bit of a gap. Uh, and I hope you can see it down here if I just show you here. You get this gap over here, which doesn't always look good, but sometimes I kind of go footers are the least of your problems. Just let it go, you know, get over it. And, you know, don't, don't mull over it too much. Or I could have done something a little bit different and gone over here to this container and says, okay, uh, let's just set this all to be on the end like that. Polishes it off a little bit. But you know, it's all down to preference and what you like seeing. But you can basically see it there. I'm just going to shrink, get rid of my face for a moment, okay? Just so you can see what I did there. Um, but that is another very basic one-page website. But again, study it. Look at it. It's just text. Um, you know, okay, there's a form there as well, but it's just text and images, right? Text and images and a couple of icon boxes, but we haven't gone overly crazy. So you're launching a portfolio. Maybe you're an author or you're trying to let people know about yourself or who you are. This could really work. The key bit is the images. I've stressed this about every day so far this week. I keep stressing it. Your images are so key. Consistency, the color of the images, the branding, and then get the page to fit that as well. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, with the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.